Hi guys, my name is Dr. Jagdish Chaturvedi and I'm going to quickly analyze the ENT questions that came in your recent INICT November 2023. How did you do? Uh, hope you all did well. Uh, but here are some of the trends, some of the patterns which will help you understand how well you did and also help you prepare better for future if you are giving it the next time. And uh, here is what happened. I think the difficulty level this time was fairly easy. They were very straightforward questions, not too much twisting, confusion. Topics were also fairly very, uh, you know, simple and standard expected. That's why 100% of the topics were covered in our rapid revision PYQs and question banks. I will show you each question from where it has come. So don't have the FOMO of missing information. You should have FOMO of missing quality and missing good time management. In five hours, you could have finished everything that was going to be asked in ENT. And this has been happening for the last two exams as well. More than 95% of the questions have been covered in most of these high yield questions. And you can use that time to prepare better for other subjects, revise better, have good mental rest and performance is all that is key. So don't have FOMO on oh, volume, 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 zada hona chahiye. no, quality is zada hona chahiye. time management, hona chahiye, but I'll tell you that. But what kind of questions came? So total number of VNT questions are 13. This is usually a bit more than what we expect. Normally, 5, 7, 8 questions are So we're looking at 40 to 50% increase in ENT, uh, which is probably also gearing up towards the next pattern. Uh, we're going to have larger number of ENT questions and ENT is anyway now being of more stronger clinical importance, even in other fields. Uh, pediatric population is seeing more ENT. Uh, you know, medicine, you, most of our practice is also ENT. And ENT, like I said, is that everywhere whether you choose it or not now image based questions are very interesting 8 out of 13 were image based questions 60 percent image based questions this is a very important trend you need to have more clinical visual information uh, you know and it has been doubled than last time i think there were about only four three or four clinical based questions you can expect more clinical image based questions uh, coming in uh, you know in future especially histopathological radiological questions and I think this will also continue as a trend and in fact maybe I won't be surprised if all the questions that come in ENT one day would be image based and clinically oriented because that is where I think your real skills come into use now radiological image based questions were two um, you know this is uh, double than last time radiological question normally ek do aate hain. But this time, uh, you know, they have two out of the eight images. You can see one fourth of it are radiological. So don't uh, skip your, uh, you know, radiological images. It's not very easy to understand as a practicing doctor itself. It takes some time to get used to all the, you know, kinds of radiological modalities and how you pick lesions and conditions. So you need to start exposing yourself to more and more such images to help you. Now, clinical based questions, of course, a lot of clinical scenarios, Vignate, 35 year old man, somebody with this the problem, this is what is your diagnosis, what's your first line of uh, options, you know, treatment management, Wo all except wale zada nahi hai apke baar. there was just probably one, but most of it now are becoming your application, clinical application based question, these are also 50% of all, uh, almost 50% are case based questions and uh, you know more than 25 percent than previous exams so you can see the trend going guys less of learn by rote hey, wo exactly waisa ka waisa ana kind of mentality has to change you have to understand the core concepts and you have to apply it whether you like it or not this is what your examiners want this is what you know your colleges want when they're going to take you they want your clinical basics they don't want ratta patta knowledge okay so that has to change and i'm good um, i'm happy that that trend is changing and there's more clinical image based questions practical based questions at least it will take the ratta pattus out of the market all right now distribution of questions so here uh, this is slightly different in proportion see generally in inict we see more head and neck more throat more nose questions, especially nothing from nasopharyngeal angiofibromas, uh, nasopharyngeal carcinomas, which any adenoids and normally wo adenoid faces are jata hai. and uh, generally some laryngeal staging or some cancer staging uh, usually uh, comes in epistaxis. A lot of common hit topics uh, were not there this time. A lot of ear questions were there, and two three very basic questions from you know your anatomy uh, were also there. Uh, which is a little bit of an unlikely pattern. I don't know if it is randomly, you know, a software is choosing a bunch of question database and picking it up or whether there is any intention to it. But yet thoda sa proportion looked a bit offbeat. But nonetheless, I think, you know, um, here when we study ENT also, uh, ear covers larger, uh, you know, portion proportion of your subject anyway. So that way, I think uh, the proportion of ear, nose, throat more or less uh, maintained. 
um, that uh, you know Bera ka auditory pathway and all of those very very common questions that have been repeating for many years were not asked this time. However, there were also many repeats. So uh, almost three were direct with the option copy to copy repeats from your last three years PYQs. We have done our PYQ series. You would have had three without you would have not even wasted time. Lo option aapko sare pata hote. And about six have been indirectly asked. The same question has been twisted a bit. Either an image is put or something else has been asked about it, relevant to it. But they're they're revolving very closely around the same topics that have been asked. Think about it. Nine out of the twelve have directly or indirectly come from your previous year questions. Same database. They're not putting much effort in creating new questions. There's a database of questions that they're picking out from. Do not neglect your PYQs. Do not have the FOMO on just other new information. Your PYQs. Will sail you through more than 50, 60 percent uh, of your questions, and the rest, of course, are rapid revision and all of the other things will take care without you spending too much time. All right. Now here are the questions and where they came from. You know this master directory CSCS one thing exactly. You can see the same to same. You know question that was asked. Uh, you know previously, even the one on this objective hearing test, same to same with same options. Even you know what are this major uh, minor criteria of AFRS exactly same to same. These three are ditto questions that have been asked from past. Then you know we've covered uh, this in a rapid revision. You know the basal cell uh, carcinoma with having that rolled out edges. I don't know whether the question image was this or the question image was uh, you know the lateral aspect of the nose. Uh, there are varying you know uh, versions of uh, recalls that are there um, you know by other platforms. So we've just taken what we feel most likely come either ways. Both aspects were covered. This particular thing was directly covered from our rapid revision about this being the gliding kind of joint. Um, basic, uh, you know, uh, uh, Weber's Rene's application over here in orthosclerosis, all hints was given. It was a woman, hepatectomy, all of that was, you know, there. And then, you know, the Rene's Weber's direct application. This wala question has come first with a, uh, in the previous, it has been asked whether, uh, you know, identify the foreign bodies in the throat or in the esophagus. Here they have probably asked you what is the foreign body uh, that you see and it was ingested. Very similar, a twisted version of a repeat. This one though, aata hai. this is a very common celebrity question. So rhinosporidiosis and uh, generally you have the strawberry nose appearance version. But you know, this, uh, uh, you know, seeing the sporangia, the spores version has also come, uh, you know, a few years ago. And uh, that has uh, again come there. Here, whether see, we all know the multiple times whether candidiasis can be scraped and there is a raw surface come. So that's a clear rule out question. Uh, HSV 1 and 8 does not cause any sort of, uh, you know, whitish patches. It usually cause ulcers and those kind of, uh, you know, uh, pustular lesions. So this is easily an answer of exclusion. Otherwise, uh, Epstein-Barr virus usually is notorious for having a membrane which cannot be scraped even in infectious mononucleosis and other conditions. So that is, uh, you know, another way of an indirect application. This complication of sinusitis question, teen bar to pehle a chuka hai, but never come in image based. Abki bar they put the same question, but they've given you an image. Um, you know, so uh, this has also come from your PYQs uh, numerous number of times. Uh, this one, which of the following is true except? This is the only question which has come in the true except format, which is a very good change. Otherwise, kya aisa dimaag ko twist karke, you know, bolna. But this is also not very complex. This has been covered in our rapid revision. Um, and this upsloping audiometry here, they didn't put meniere's disease, but endolymphatic high drops being called meniere's disease has been asked in the past. This upsloping of the PTAs uh, based image based questions has been asked. Meniere's usually, you know, comes. And of course, uh, you know, something related to COVID or something related to mucor, which got its popularity in co uh, through in the COVID times has also, you know, come into light. And this question has been repeated. And this time it has been a pathological image based question. So there were two pathological or histopathological image based questions two radiological image based questions and the rest were clinical image based questions a lot of clinical application questions guys so please focus on your clinical strength okay don't think about that kind of uh, mentality is not going to work going forward especially as we are transitioning towards next all right so do look through our content fairly more closely rapid revision will cover more than 90 95 percent of what you need in just three hours nobody else has three hours of ent with that high yield information compactly packed and plus our pyqs and q banks are constantly being uh, updated and improved so that'll help you prepare in future by saving time getting higher quality so that you are more fresh better revised for your exams so wishing you all the best guys thank you signing out jagdish chaturvedi take care